Good afternoon, everybody. We're live in the Fitz Motorcast. This is Dave. I've got on the phone with me Richard Hutchins, America's favorite wheel stander, the Chevy Rebellion. Hey, Rich, how are you? Oh, doing real good. Uh, trying to stay warm and stay out of the water. So, Richard, you're already at the Great Lakes Drag Week, right? Yes, I am. I get here a little early that way. Uh, if I had a problem, I'd have time to correct it. That way I can put on a, the proper show. So are you going to be doing any test running this week? No. No. Save everything for uh, next Saturday and Sunday. In other words, I have no problems with the vehicle. It's just general maintenance. You, you know, you like to check everything, make sure everything's okay. But, right. Uh, they're going to have a real good show out here, jet cars, uh, you name it. The, uh, the show gets better each year, so that'd be nice. Now, are there any other wheel standards running this year with you? Uh, not to my knowledge, but you never know. At the last minute, something might show up. Right. So they do go on Saturday and Sunday and next weekend for everybody to get out there. Right. In other words, uh, we always try to put on a good show, and we do put on a good show, and not just me, but the jet cars and uh, all the all the bracket cars. I mean, it's it's like a mini national event. Right. I was talking a little bit with Arnie the Farmer Beswick on the phone last night. He was saying he's not sure if he's going to run or not because he might not have a crew. Yeah. Uh, it's hard to get people together sometimes. You know, crew members, you know, they've got a family and they got to be with them sometimes, you know. It's, it's just part of life. How many crew members do you have? Uh, I got two that show up to help me here. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, one drives a car that tows, uh, tows me up to the starting line and tows me back from the far end all the way back to the pits. So for for this year, 2017, how many years is this now for you? It's be uh, 50, 51 years. 51 years, huh? Uh, how long? Yep. How long you plan on keep going? I don't know until until uh, things change or something. If uh, if the state of Wisconsin pulls my lottery numbers, I can probably shorten it a little bit. <laughs> As long as you know, I'm healthy enough to run it, I'll probably run it. Right. So how many more uh, events do you have scheduled for this year? I got about 19 of all, all together so far. And there's always late coverage. You have to be somebody every once in a while call in the middle of the season. Can you, can you, think, of, can you think of any of, any of them off the top of your head to talk about? When I leave here, I'll run. I go to Adco, New Jersey, for next the following week, and I go from there to uh, Shady Side Dragway in North Carolina the week after. Then I come back up here at Kakana and run, and uh, I have to look at my calendar. But uh, it's a pretty busy season so far. Yeah, I know uh, Labor Day weekend you'll be back at the Grove. Uh, I'll be back at the Grove July, uh, July fourth weekend. Is that and the then, night? night then of... I go to, I go to, uh, I come back for uh, Labor Day. Uh, Labor Day weekend. What's what's July fourth? The night of thunder or something like that? A night, uh, night, night of fire or something? Uh, I forgot. I forgot. I see so many of these flyers. I can't keep up with them. Uh. uh I really oh, can't remember. I don't even have a flyer in front of me right now wow. to to back it up. But uh, um, it'd be something like a night of fire here. I I know in in August in August uh, Jim Brewer is coming up there with the Peacemaker. Oh yeah, well, he puts on a good show. A nice guy. Yeah, he's he's been doing it for a long time too. Yeah, yeah. I, I signed his license last last year, I guess it was. He let it lapse a little bit, so he had to make a couple test runs in front of 
front of another license wheel spanner and drag strip motor. So mm-hmm. we did that in North Carolina, Rockingham, North Carolina. Uh, everything went good for him. You know, he made his run straight as an arrow, and he went home happy. Yeah, I think he's like 85 now. I think so. He's older than I am. Uh, but we kid each other so much, we don't really know who who's older anymore. <laughs> but I think he's in his 80s, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. So, so your your uh, wheel standard is all ready to run. Yeah, That's, you know I come in the track. I'll probably you know unload it uh, the day of the race or the day before, and uh, just go through a few things, double check, you know, uh, just common sense stuff, you know. Make sure it got you know brake fluid, that you know, fuel in it, and you know, just. Uh, stuff that you do at home before you go on a trip. You know, just check everything so you don't have a problem. And then for the for the people listening out there that want to come out this weekend, next week, next weekend, uh, what do you, when do you do wheel standards start running about five or six? Uh, somewhere around six, if I'm not mistaken. The show starts at six, and I start off the show. I'm the first one that runs, so... So they can get out there earlier too. That way they can watch uh, uh, bracket cars. The, yeah, the bracket cars. Uh, and some of them put on a real good show. Can't can't uh, knock them for anything. I mean, they do good. And uh, sometimes I'll go out there and watch them because they're you know they're that good. So and they can come. All, to, they can get there pardon? early. They can get there early and come to the pits and uh, meet with you and talk with you. Take pictures. All right. Right, that's the good part of a uh, drag strip like this. Everybody's invited. They can come into the pits and uh, talk to their favorite drivers and stuff like that. See the cars up close. Yeah, so Ar- Ar- Arnie Beswick said if he, even if he's not racing, he's going to have the hell of the car there at least displayed. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I heard. Like I said, uh, I didn't confirm nothing, but... uh. Yeah, I heard he's going to be there, uh, whether he's going to run the car or not. That's a question mark. Well, you you remember you remember last uh, Labor Day weekend he wasn't running because he had transmission problems? So. Yeah, it had trouble. Uh, well, you between the shipper and stuff like that, you know, there was a mix-up on, uh, on stuff. But uh, they didn't get the parts until the day after he was supposed to, so. And he was, te- he was telling me last night he... Got the new transmission in her. He hasn't he hasn't test run any done any test running or anything. So if he runs next weekend, that'll be his test run. Right. Yeah. Uh, I haven't talked to him in the last month or so, so I, I'm very vague on exactly what's going on. Yeah, I know, I know he's been busy with the farm and all that. Yeah, well, you know, when you got a farm, you, you know, that's a full-time job there in itself. But got to give them credit for, you know, taking on all the stuff at one time. But mm-hmm. that's what we do. Yeah, I think after, after you uh, start the feature next week, and I think, I think the Chicago Wise guys come on after you, I think. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. I, like I said, I haven't seen the flyers or nothing else, so I'm like I said, a little bit vague on it. But I, I think that's what's going. After I run, uh, they run the Chicago Wise guys, and uh, then they'll run the Jets. And then we come back. We, you know, I'm in here for two runs a day, so. Right, you'll be back in the evening when it's dark, and you, people can see your fire show better. Yes. Yeah, I, think, I believe. I, yeah, I'm pretty sure Labor Day weekend the uh, wise guys ran after you and uh, Rick Ream went down. Yeah. They, they, I think that's the way it ran last year, so I'm quite sure they're going to keep it the same way. And, of course, the wise guys always put on a great show. Yeah. Those are some... Yeah, pa- pa- good, good, good group of people, too. I mean, uh, 
they're pleasant to talk to and everything, you know, so and that's that's a lot of it right here. Yeah. We'll talk to people and answer their questions and, you know, because that's how a lot of people get started. They ask questions and uh, make a decision whether they want to get into it or not, you know. And some questions are just curiosity questions, which is understandable. And there, there, there's some really fast drivers in those Chicago Wise guys. Yeah. In yeah, the five second, six seconds, five seconds. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, they try set a record every time they go down there. They're shooting for a record. You know, and then Saturday, I know the Saturday event they're doing a big uh, tribute to the guy that passed away, Rick Saxel. Yeah. They're gonna throw it, spread his ashes out, I believe. Uh, you know, I like to see everybody come out because they got so much stuff here. I can't remember half the stuff. There. There's always something to keep you occupied. Plus, like the food court's got a lot of good food in it. And, uh, there's a T-shirt concession there, and you know, memorabilia and stuff like that. So, like I said, uh, when they leave here, they should be happy. You know, they should have a smile on their face. Oh, yeah, then there's the uh, Midwest Nostalgia Pro Stock Association, too, running. Yeah. And probably the Midwest Gassers. Yeah, the Midwest Gassers, uh, if I'm not mistaken, uh, the Ozark Shifters will probably be here. And, uh, like I said, it's, it's a full program. You know, uh, it'll keep everybody busy at, uh, it's good for the kids, you know, they get to see what's going on. You know, you, uh, it's a program that they can go out and see the cars. We're not car- we are not cartoon characters. This is something that you, you don't see every day on TV. Right. Yeah, these, these days we need more kids to come out to the drag race tracks for events. Right. And I noticed throughout the years you get more and more kids out there and uh, you know they got their favorite cars that you know they would like to see so then you you probably you probably notice there's a lot more kids starting to do the junior dragsters now yeah uh, yeah that that brings in a lot of kids the junior dragsters you know it's, it's a start it's a starting program for them and uh because once they turn 18 uh they can't run a junior dragster anymore. And by that time, just before they're 18, the parents are generally building a car for them, and the kids are helping build them, too. So that's that's a nice program. Yeah, I know last year uh, Dick, Dick Messino's granddaughter had her junior dragster over there. Yeah. Maybe, maybe she'll be out again next weekend. We'll see. Yeah. Yeah, sometimes we just can't uh, answer some questions because we don't know, you know, in other words. Uh, uh, like I said, I've, I've got here, but I haven't seen a flyer, and I haven't really talked mm-hmm. to any of the management exactly 100% what, you know. But, uh, you know, they're not going to bring in junk because they're, this uh, too good a program, and, you know, you bring in bad cars, and actually people don't come back. So the, the, the secret is to always give them a good show so when they leave, they get, they're they happy and they can say, I'm happy, you know, I'm just satisfied with the show, got to see cars that I didn't expect to see and stuff like that, you know? Yeah. I, I know Dick Messino will be there for sure running. Pardon? I said I know Dick Messino will be there for sure running his car to shake a rattle and run. Yeah, oh yeah. yeah I see him a lot. He, he runs here, he runs... A lot of the tracks I run in this area, so uh, Chicago, I've seen there a couple times. But like I said, it's I'm trying to think what kind of uh, like I said, he, he puts on so much stuff here. I can't remember half the stuff. Yeah, you, know, you think you do, but you don't. But, you know, you got going to be running motorcycles, or anything that's got wheels on it is going to be running here. Mm-hmm. And uh, like I said. Whatever class they you're in, 
it's, it's most of the time it's a spectacular show. Yeah. And of course, if the fans want to go talk to you, you got the fan cards. The kids can get autographs and all that. Right. Yeah. Be autographs. Got T-shirts. You know. It's, uh, we. We. You know. You got. We got fans. I got fans. Uh, you know. When I do run against another car, they got fans. You know. We all got fans, and uh, you know, we got to keep them happy because without them, we wouldn't be doing this stuff. Exactly. No, are you are you still working with the uh, that woman that works with uh, Dave Motter? Yeah, no. Mary. Right. Yeah, I saw her yesterday. A group of us went out for uh, dinner, and she's a real nice lady, real nice person. Hell, say she likes to talk to kids and and adults too. But that's what we need, you know, people that go out out of their way to be friendly with people. Yeah. And, uh, but anyway, uh, yeah, she'll be out here this weekend. Yeah, me and my wife met her last uh, last year at the Labor Day weekend when she was by your car. Yeah. yeah. And Dougie will be here. Remember Dougie? The, he takes pictures and he, he does pinstriping and stuff like that. Yes. Yeah, I remember Dougie. Yeah. I think he's the one that introduced you to me. Yeah, I believe so. Yep. But, but uh, yeah, like I said, you'll meet a lot of people that you forgot you knew sometimes. Like mm -hmm. the last year when I was here, guy all the way from St. Petersburg, Florida, I haven't seen him in 30 years. He shows up. He lives up here now. But it's always a surprise. Yeah, you never know who you're going to run run into at the drag strip. Right. And, uh, which is good, but uh, like I said, all we've got to worry about is the weather. And it's starting to clear up here a little bit today. I don't, there's no way you could run here today, but I was looking at the extended weather report, and next Saturday it shows it's going to be real good. Yeah, you, uh, us, usually Memorial Day weekend we get some bad weather all the time. Yeah. Uh, we work around it, you know. That, uh, but it looks like they're going to have good weather. Uh, we'll keep our fingers crossed on that one, Richard. Yeah. But other than that, like I said, I want to invite everybody to come out and, you know, see a good show, not just me, but there's all kinds of vehicles they can enjoy watching it. Uh, you know, a lot of them, you know, people say, oh, that's, I had a car like that when I was, you know, graduated from college. It brings back good, happy memories to a lot of people. Yeah. Oh, yeah, and by the way, I believe uh, Mark, Mark Craig should be listening to this interview right now. Oh, yeah? Yeah, you told he was asking me, how do I listen to the interview? So he should be listening in right now. Yeah, well, that's good. Uh, yeah, glad to hear it. Like I say, I'm glad to hear it. Anyway, you know, they, they, uh, they're in business or whatever, you know, but they got time to listen to the radio, and that, that you don't have to watch the radio, you know. You get to hear it, you know, if you're doing something. Uh, you can even be cutting your grass with headphones on and hear the radio, so that's, that's a plus. Yeah, ho hopefully Mark gets his uh, wheel stander built soon so we yeah. can see him out there. Right. Yeah, they've seen them on TV, and now they get to see him in real life. Mm. And like I said, I have a lot of people come up and said they didn't believe, you know, that pictures don't really show what you're doing for sure, you know. Uh, you can put a car on, take a picture of it with a jack on it and say, look, it's doing a wheelie. But if they come out here and they see a car up in the air, they know there's no jack under it. It's running down the drag strip. Yeah. So when, when you go, when you go down the drag strip in the wheel stand, do you feel like a kid again? Do I what? Do you feel like a kid again? Uh, feel younger, yeah. <laughs> and, you know, like I said, they push a lot of safety here. We got fire department at the other end 
safety crews and stuff like that. You know, it was, it, it's just, you know, it's common sense stuff, you know. So, so if something does happen, hopefully nothing does, but if it does, you got help there right on the spot. So after all these years of doing this, you still have, you still get a thrill out of getting behind the wheel? Pardon? After all these years of doing this, you still get a th- thrill out of getting behind the wheel and going down the track? Oh, oh yeah. I mean, it, you know, thrill or fun you know, are all of the above, you know. Yeah, we do that, and uh, like I said, you know, if I didn't, didn't enjoy it, you know, get a thrill out of it, I probably wouldn't be doing it this long. Yep, that's true. If you're not in, not enjoying it, you need to get out. Yeah. But, uh, you're still loving to perform and make the crowd happy, so that's good, Richard. Oh, yeah, in other words, that makes makes you want to do it more. You know. So that's good. Yeah, like I said. Uh, you know, there's so many people out there robbing people and shooting people, you know. You've got to have a few good guys around here <laughs> doing stuff the opposite way, you know. Right. Helping, helping people and stuff like that, but. So is, uh, Great, is Great Lakes Dragway one of your favorite tracks? It's, it's uh, top three, I'm going to say. It's hard to say which one's number one. Right. But, uh, yeah. And, and that's the other thing here. They're fixing the track up more and more each year. They're making more and more improvements, uh, more modernized. You know, uh, a few years ago, they put in a, a Musco lighting, which is the state-of-the-art NASCAR. has got that lighting. You know, it makes it like daylight out here at night. And they're paving a lot of stuff. You, know, you can never get done doing all this work at any, any racetrack. But, uh, yeah, I like know. I, said, I know. Oh, you, go ahead. Go ahead, Richard. Are, no, go ahead, Richard. Uh, uh, I mean, if you've been out here, like, say, 10 years ago and you come back out, uh, you probably wouldn't recognize the place. I mean, they really dress, dress it up every time. You, every year I come out here, there's something new. Uh, new, new guardrails one year. Uh, new asphalt out on the track and they're paving as we talked right now they're paving some more places in the pits for for race cars uh like this it's a non-stop thing you just can't do everything in one year but keep doing it you know at least they're going going forward with all this stuff so that makes a big you know makes everybody happy uh, i got a little kitty playground for little kids you know uh because they're not into racing yet, but, you know, they've got little slides and, you know, stuff to keep kids uh, going to, so. Yeah, I, I, I was going to say, well, I know over the winter time they just tore, tore out the burnout boxes and put brand new pavement in for burnout boxes. Yeah. Mm. yeah. You know, during the winter sometimes they have snowmobile racing out here, too. Yeah, I saw those events on the page. Yeah. It's a facility for horsepower. Yeah. So are you, are you going to uh, are you going to be at Route sixty six at all this year? Pardon? Are you going to Joliet this year at all? No, I'm not. Uh, new management there, and they're doing something different. I don't know what what the deal is. A lot of these tracks get new managers, and they're trying different things. So it's hard to say exactly what's going on. Mm. Uh, I talked to them once, and they told me it's got new management, and uh, we're, they're doing something different. So uh, you can't argue with them, and don't if, even if you did argue with them, it wouldn't be doing you no good. But that's part of life. Are you going to Cordova or Byron at all? Yeah, I'm doing Cordova for the World Series. I was probably one of the very first ones to be booked in for that. Uh, I've talked to Byron, and I'm supposed to run there sometime. I don't know when yet. We're, they're still working on the date. Uh, they had a lot of rain out, so they got to be careful what they do, you know. But. Right. So now when when, when fans want to see your schedule, where, where can they go to find your schedule? I don't know. I don't have a computer. <laughs> <laughs> 
you you need to you need to have someone make something for you where it can what maybe marry or yeah. someone. Well, it's, it's on YouTube on quite a, quite a few different things from what I hear. Uh, yeah, I had a brand new computer for four years and never hooked it up. And didn't ever have the time to do it. And matter of fact, I traded it for something. I forgot what I traded it for now, but and, uh, I'm never home. But nowadays, you don't need to be home. You can carry it with you anywhere you go. But yeah, yeah, you could get yourself a laptop that you could bring in your uh, in your truck with you. You know, like like right now, you when you're waiting. All week you gotta get down your laptop, go on the computer. Yeah. yeah. That's modern day stuff, you know. But anyway, what, make one step at a time, you might say, you know. You know, I'm sure Mary can make you a, a web page for your wheel stander and a, like a Facebook uh, page, a fan page for the car. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that like say right now for, for a guy that don't even have a computer I'm all over the computer they say <laughs> but, but that's the way the world is nowadays life is on the computer man it's e it's easy to post up your schedule for all your events on there yeah but and of course you can't it's a lot of your dates you can't put on the computer because you don't they change them on you halfway. You know, I don't like to have it, people plan on coming to a track, and then they find out when they get there that they change the date on us. Yeah, you know, I'm I'm well informed ahead of time, but they don't inform the public sometimes. Yeah. But it's still operated by the humans. Oh yeah. Anyway, like I said, appreciate the phone call and the ring, and uh, hope everything goes good for you. Oh, thanks. So, yeah, no problem, Richard. You're, you're always welcome on the show. Okay, well, I sure appreciate it. Hope everybody enjoys it. Yeah. I don't mind promoting uh, the drag race drivers and promoting drag racing, so get, get people out to all the drag race strips and all that, you know? Yeah. Yeah, uh, find I don't know when Brewer's coming here, but you probably enjoy having him on on the, on the radio with you. Yeah, I did. I did have a one with him uh, like a couple months ago. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, he's got a, him and his family are very nice people. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, they'll be here in uh, I think August eighth or something like that. They're running the Larry's Fun Fest at Great Lakes Driveway. Yeah, uh, that's one thing here. It's a different program every week. It's yeah. not like going and seeing the same movie week after week. It's uh, every week. It's a different type program. Right. Sometimes it'll be import wars and stuff like that. Like I said, it's it's very interesting what they're doing here. Oh yeah, and then of course they got uh, where where you. You can come out yourself with your own car for, uh, I forgot how much someone has yeah. to pay, but pay, I forgot how much they got to pay, but they can bring in a car out and run down the track eh. during the weekdays, I believe. Yeah. Like I said, uh, it don't matter what you drive, you can come race, too. Yeah. So, so R Richard, you got any uh, last words you want to say to everybody out there? Everybody comes out and has a real good time, and be careful coming out here, and be careful going home because I want to see you the next time. And uh, appreciate you people listening uh, to the radio up here because, uh, like I say, you learn a lot sometimes just listening to the radio. Yeah, that's true. Well, Richard, yeah. th thank thank you for your time for this uh, talk. All right. Well, thank you for the call, and uh, maybe we'll see you out this weekend. Okay, you you take care, Richard. All right, you too. Thank everybody for listening. Appreciate it. Okay, bye-bye, Richard. Bye.